I never played the Atari 7800 back in the day. No one I know owned one, and similar to a lot of the gaming public at the time, our focus was on Nintendo, and then quickly other consoles instead. The 7800 is an example of a console after its time. Who knows what might have happened if the 7800 had been released in 1984 rather than two years later. After a lengthy legal fight, and only after the debut of the Nintendo Entertainment System, and with Atari seeing its future slowly eroding. It's a shame, because many of us missed out on what I think are some of the best, if not the best, console ports of the classic Atari arcade games. Centipede is a great example of the evolution of the arcade console port. The original arcade classic was clearly more than consoles of 1981 could handle, but programmers found the game's rollerball gameplay generally fit well when converted to a generation of joysticks. The original 2600 release is one of the best games for the VCS. While the graphics and sound are rudimentary and a bit harsh, the gameplay is great, and it's one of the best-selling games for the console. The 5200 version was also missed by many and isn't bad. You can see the graphics and sound improve a bit, although the infamously poor 5200 joystick made actually playing the game fairly difficult. The 7800 port is in some ways the best of everything. Great gameplay, good speed, tight controls, improved graphics, rudimentary classic Atari console sound, and the exciting introduction of two players, simultaneous, co-op, and competitive play. The 7800 version is simply great, and if you're lucky to have someone to play co-op with you, it's even better. I personally find the spiders to be slightly harder to hit in this version of the game for some reason, but otherwise it plays very much like the classic Centipede. Both the classic and modern controllers are supported. I personally love playing 2600, 5200, and 7800 games on the VCS with the classic, so I'm happy to report it plays great. Of course, since this is the original 7800 ROM, there's no saved high scores or leaderboards. You have to wonder if Atari's investment into Antstream couldn't make something like online leaderboards for classic ROMs possible someday. As with the other 7800 releases, Atari is not offering a manual, so if you need to, you'll have to find it online. Thankfully, Centipede doesn't need a manual. You can also play the game for free on the cloud-based Antstream arcade. Centipede 7800 was released for the VCS at $2.99. Thanks for watching. I'm currently playing through the new Breakout Recharge, so expect that to most likely be my next review. There are also several other 7800 and DOS games to get to and other games on the horizon. Liking helps spread the word about the channel and subscribing makes it easy to get the videos when they're released. Have fun!